Welcome back. We got another quick workbench video. Today I want to talk about accessorizing your aim point, which sounds kind of crazy, but I think it's something we can all benefit from if we use these great Swedish optics. So here I got a T2. Uh, it's a phenomenal optic as is, but I made some uh, additions to it that I think really are helpful to me as the shooter and would also be to you as well. So Base for an optic is always very important. So I'm using a spur mount. You can use a Geisley, you can use a Reptilia, you can use anyone you want. Uh, there's tons of great mounts out there, but just kind of get the right height for you uh, and make this optic sit appropriately for how you want to use uh, the rifle. As far as the body of the aim point, it's super ruggedized. I put this Tango Down IO cover on it. Uh, it's in tan because why would it not be? It comes with some caps on the side. However, you can see I snipped them off and I've just written down on top the zero for it. Do I think you need to have this cover on your aim point? No, but it definitely helps kind of ruggedize it, protect the finish, protect the optic itself. You know, any kind of rubberized plastic, anything like that is gonna be uh, more shock absorbent than just aluminum alone. And it helps me kind of reduce the signature of the rifle, quote unquote, you know, camouflage it, if you will, without having to paint uh, the optic itself. So just kind of an easy piece there and fairly inexpensive. I cut off the caps because they kind of obscured my view on the left side. I just didn't like it. Uh, if I want to run caps, I can just put the stock ones on at some point. For adjustments, I think these are probably uh, like the number one modification I would make. These are from Forward Control Designs. So FCD, they made caps that screw down and then they have these prongs that will interface with the aim point adjustments, which are two little dots. So now I can just put a screwdriver in these slots and adjust windage and elevation, either with the rim of a case or with a flathead screwdriver. I don't need to take off the cap, turn it around, use the two little dots, have some kind of crazy unique aim point tool uh, it's just super simple. It's the way these things should come from the factory, frankly. And I think these are like the way to go. They're a great investment. Lastly, for an optic that has, you know, five years of battery life, I still think it's great to have an extra battery on board. So I have this Knight's, uh, battery cap. So that cut cap while also being attractive, uh, it has two batteries fitting in there. So it has an extra battery and one in the aim point. So if anything happens to my main battery, I can just replace it with a battery that's like in the optic itself. It has some nice little knurling uh, on the edge there just to make my adjustments easier. Are these massive adjustments? Do you need to run out and buy this right now? No, I don't think so. However, if you're kind of like a prolific shooter and you like having your stuff uh, set, ready, capable, and very easy to work with and kind of work for itself, I think these... Uh, enhancements right the cover the caps and the battery cap they all make it work better for you as the shooter and they're going to make your aim point just that much better so we joke about glock perfection and every few years the new generation well aim point is perfection but we can add some stuff to make it even better as always questions comments all welcome let me know what you guys think uh, and i look forward to interacting with you guys in the comment section thanks